Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And I'm talking about my toes again still. And it's been 151 hours since I came out of surgery. Closing in on a, on a full week, whatever. So definitely don't know why I'm still doing the whole hour thing. It's just kind of probably I started with it and now I kind of think it's a weird little quirk to throw in there. So today was, um, in general, a phenomenally good day. Um, the toes were doing just better they're still leaking a little bit here and there still bleeding some here and there putting some gauze on I racked them all up last night i um, racked them up really probably a little bit tighter than i should have i didn't want to have them come off it was my first night uh, without them being wrapped up by the doctor so i was definitely uh, very concerned about that fact so i went ahead um, got them all wrapped up and had a good time with that stuff so from there um like I said, the day felt amazing how good they were going. I mean, I still have a lot of pain. I still bump them here and there. I uh, let them breathe a good chunk of the day today. Um, put some socks on them with some gauze because the one keeps bleeding a little bit here and there on both feet. I got a couple of them bleeding on one foot and one on the other. So definitely not the greatest thing. Um, did go out and did some driving around today. Had a couple errands to go run. Had to go to the bank. Had to make some deposits. Had to move some money around, whatever. Uh, also from there, uh, went out to the reservoir. Did going to do a little walking out there on the res. There's a three and a half mile loop, a one and a half or one and a half mile loop, and then a um, 0.8 mile trail that I didn't plan on any of that stuff. It's where I take my dog out and go run all the time. And he's been pretty cooped up lately since, I mean, he hasn't been out really doing much. I've been trying to rough house him a little bit in the house here when I can. Like, I bury my feet kind of thing, like underneath like the um, edge of the couch and then basically kind of push him around and shove him or I'll sit in the chair and hide my feet under the desk and shove him around to try and you know, let him know that it's going to be all right. But took him out there. I walked around a little bit out there for a while. Went sit down on the bench. I let him off leash. He was out there. Had a shot collar on him. No big deal. <clears throat> he was running around crazy. Nobody else around. Shot collar is pretty much only in case somebody else pulls up. Especially if they had, like, small kids. He loves children or, like, even, like, other pets and stuff. He was going to go meet those. Especially pets. I usually climb off people or, of that. But if there's a dog there in the group, it's he's going to meet that dog. Like, I'm going to have to shock his ass to get him back over. He won't just come back by command. So I was out there. My feet were doing great. All that kind of stuff. Didn't think really much about it. Uh, he was running around doing his zoomies. And um, stepped to my foot at one point. Runs by. And zoomies are basically runs loops around me. And then I kind of, like, I'm going to get him. I act like I'm going to grab him and stuff. And he stomped my foot at one point there. And that sucked. And then he took a massive fall on the rock. I kind of laughed. I didn't see his foot fell down. It's like his feet on the rock um, driveway slash road went out. And he, like, fell over pretty bad. And I laughed because he falls down quite a bit. Just apparently never on the rock before. And he came back. He made another couple loops. Went and jumped in the res. Came back. And he was playing around and stuff. And I looked down. I was like, what the hell? And he had a big chunk taken out of the, out of the front of his leg. And it's a gnarly, nasty thing. I'd say bigger than a quarter, but smaller than a half dollar. And it's deep. Like, it's real deep. And it was bleeding pretty good. I freaked out. Called him over to me. And he didn't want me touching his foot. And that, of course, I went ahead and ran to the car. Actually, if I say ran, I hobbled my ass to the car. Um, grabbed some towels, which I didn't have. I ended up having to go with napkins. So, big kids in the neighborhood. Anyway, um, had to grab some napkins. Kind of plotted on other stuff. Didn't have anything to wrap it around it to try and, like, even kind of hold it on why I keep, drove him home. And it freaked me out because... Here I am, literally, I could have taken gauze off my own feet, but I didn't have anything to tie him onto his foot with. I didn't even have shoelaces, one of those stupid, like, doctor shoes I gave Velcro on them, so I couldn't even do anything with those. It really kind of, really kind of set me, and I made some changes there. But got home, um, got him all wrapped up, got him bandaged up, he was acting all weird. He was in pain, I understand. I'm in pain, he's in pain, it's not going well. Um, got him gauzed up, got him wrapped up, and he didn't like it on his, on his ankle and his wrist there. He was kind of having a hard time with it. So he went ahead, and I sat on the couch, trying to get him to come up on the couch with me, so he's got his own couch in the house, it's just his, and I was trying to get up there so he could lay down a little bit, kind of rest, and not stop trying to chew on it, and the process was just kind of antsy, he was kind of nervous stuff, he stomped around my right foot, and I don't mean stepped on, I mean stomped, we're talking a 100 plus pound dog, and just mauled his foot into it, I felt it twist, he stomped on it, and I screamed like a little girl, it hurt so bad, and then of course that foot started bleeding like a demon, I mean it was just pus, and I had to go wrap it up more, I put like tons more gauze on it, put more pressure on it, trying to get it stopped, and it's stopped now, mostly it's still leaking out some, but that just, it was, it was so intense, like it just totally, like a kick in the ball is what it felt like, so that was my only downside day for the feet, my feet have kind of, they're still, the right foot's much more tender than the left foot is, so I'm going to wrap them up again really not tonight, like I did last night, trying to keep as much off of them as possible, just for the whole overnight sleeping and stuff, kicking them, moving around, that kind of thing, so that's my goal. But aside from my dog stomping on them, um, they were doing phenomenally good. So I'm going to say it's definitely a plus, and it's um, looking great, except for 100-plus pound dogs stomping on your feet. So don't um, let your Great Dane stomp on your feet if you ever have the surgery. So 
that's all I got right now. I'm really just been doing a lot of just um, trying to keep myself busy with um, thinking about running, reading about running, um, listening to podcasts about running, um, watching videos of Ethan Newberry, the ginger runner, um, on uh, Periscope running, things like that, trying to keep my mind, you know, off the ability I can't go run myself. But it seems to be going pretty well. Like I said, it's working out. It's just taking me a little while here. It's kind of having some issues. It's. I'm also. I'm just going with the fact that it's going to be so much better for me. And then I've also had the concept of people out there. You know, actually, I should say people. One person out there in particular chose to basically tell me I was being a little baby and I was, you know, being a dick. And I need to stop posting my 24-7 about my feet and how bad I hurt because I chose to do this to myself. So I need to just suck it up and stop talking about it all the time. So I thought it was kind of funny. But other than that, that's pretty much the, how the day went. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here and wrap my feet up and call it a night. So you guys have yourself a safe, wonderful run. Um, place your shoes up, hit the door, and get your run on. And if you try to have a surgery, I guess that's just, I'm just trying to give you guys a little update of if you were to ever have the surgery, what my experiences are so you'd make an educated guess on what your experiences might be so anyway best of luck to you